everyone, and thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited today because I just received my very first Allure Beauty Box. I'm so excited to open this with you. I have no idea what's in it. I believe this is their May box because I joined kind of late, so I think they just shipped it out. I don't know what to expect. I've been wanting to try some more beauty boxes. I'm really excited. So I'm hoping you guys will stick around, go through this box with me, and see what it's worth. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Michelle. I love makeup, skincare, lifestyle. I post videos every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I really hope that you will subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not familiar with the Allure Beauty Box, it is a monthly subscription service. They have three different subscriptions. So you can pay monthly and it's $23 per box. You can pay upfront for three months, which is $60 a month. That's the plan that I chose. Or you can pay $228 for the entire year. So basically it's like you're getting two boxes for free. According to the website, it says that you get editor approved beauty picks and makeup, skincare, hair care, and fragrance delivered right to your door monthly. You get six plus beauty products valued at $100 or more. You get three full-size items and it's free shipping to the U.S. You also get access to exclusive members. I guess they have a store that you can purchase from. You can get up to 80% off retail prices so you can buy extra products if you want. I did take advantage of the VIP code that was for my very first box. So I only paid $15 for my first box. I'll put the code up here on the screen for you. So you can get your first box for $15 too. So let's just get started going through this cute little box. It's pretty plain and not super exciting like the FabFitFun boxes. Let's go ahead and open this up. It looks like there is a little note on the inside talking a little bit about Allure and when the magazine was first published, how they're very critical evaluating their beauty products and so on and so forth. But let's get into it here. As with most beauty boxes, you know, it has a few type of insert things in here. This is items, I guess, that are available in the members store that you can purchase. And this also came with it. If you have any men that are interested, and it looks like there's a discount code there for 20% off. It looks like they have a men's box as well. And it looks like this little catalog shows what is actually in the box and it tells you a little bit about the products. And then also on the back page, it has member store picks. So these are additional things that you can also purchase. So let's dig in here. So this is what it looks like with everything in it. The first thing in here, I believe this is pronounced Haru Haru. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. This is a black rice hyaluronic toner. The full size is a 10 ounce and it retails for $37. On the top of the ingredients list, it says that it has black rice extract hyaluronic acid. It is brightening formula that gives skin a dose of radiance. This bottle delivers immediate moisture and dewiness. A perfect prep step for the rest of your routine. Let's see if it has a scent. It definitely has a strong fragrance. It smells like, I want to say tea tree, but it's not tea tree. I am so terrible at smells. It smells good, but it's really strong. It's fading pretty quickly. I always love a good toner, but keep in mind this definitely has a fragrance. Next, I have a shampoo and conditioner, impossible keratin for hard to manage curly, thick, or thin frizzy hair. Well, I certainly don't have thick hair, but I do have a thin frizzy hair. Looks like these are sold on Amazon. These are one ounce each for the shampoo and conditioner. They do have a light florally scent to them. They have a discount code here on Amazon. So if you were interested in trying those out, there is the discount code for Amazon, 30% off. So, so far everything is fragranced. Let's see what else I have. This is U Beauty Resurfacing Compound. It's a one and done product that actually works. After a few days of continuous use, it brightens skin and smooths texture. It is packed with tried and true brightening, smoothing ingredients like vitamin C, alpha hydroxy acids, retinol, witch hazel, and hydrating vitamin E, an all-in-one formula that's designed to not irritate your skin. Do not use this with a retinol. I'm guessing this is gonna have a smell to it, especially considering that it says it has witch hazel in it. Whoa, this has an awful smell, awful. It's the box, holy moly. That is so strong, it's actually burning my throat. It kind of smells like mothballs. Like if you were to stick your nose right in a box of mothballs. Wow, Oh, that is horrible. That is absolutely horrible. I hope this doesn't smell anything like that. That's bad, yuck. 
This looks like it's in one of those airless pumps. Let's just rub it in and see what it looks like. It's not super sticky. It's a little tiny bit tacky, I think, as it's drying down. It does have a light scent to it. It's not what I thought. I don't smell any witch hazel at all. It has kind of an earthy smell to it. It's very strange. I wish I could describe smells. It's not pleasant, but it's not horrible, if that makes any sense. But it definitely has a smell, but it's already faded now that I've rubbed it in my hand, but it rubbed right in. It's not sticky or anything like that. It does feel really smooth. This is definitely one of the full size items that are in the box. The retail price is $148 for this one ounce. This is some pretty pricey stuff. I just don't know how I feel about the smell. So I'm using my booklet as my reference. So this Kristoff Robin Hydrating Leave-In Mist with Aloe Vera. So I'm guessing this is for your hair. Lightweight but incredibly nourishing blend of aloe vera and flaxseed extract adds tone and shine to damaged hair. Perfectly detangled and shiny hair. You could use this on dry and damp hair, which is really nice. It says the retail price on this is $39 for the five ounce. And I guess you can buy this at Sephora. This definitely has a fragrance. It's pretty strong in the bottle. I don't know if it's going to be if I just spray it on my hand and put it on my hair. To me, this smells like a men's um, aftershave. That's kind of what it's smelling like, but it's it's fading really quickly. I'm looking forward to using this. Any great moisturizing hair product is a winner for me. Next is the Beauty Stat Universal Pro Bio Moisture Boost Cream. This looks really interesting. This retails for $50 for the one ounce. Formula is richly hydrating, light in texture, so it layers well with other products. You can use it on its own morning or night, top it with sunscreen for daytime or over serums and toners, a nice smooth base for makeup. Already, we're already over the $100 because just this resurfacing compound alone says that it was $148. This beauty stat is 50. This is a little container that it comes in. It has one of those little toppers. I'm not smelling much of a fragrance. It's super, super light if there is one. That is the texture right there. This is what the cream looks like. It's, it's almost kind of like a gel, but boy, does it blend right in. It actually feels really nice and hydrating. It says it has hyaluronic acid and ceramides for a bouncy, dewy complexion. Wow. It just soaked right into my hand. I don't feel any stickiness. It just says, boost your skin's moisture mantle, minimizing premature lines and wrinkles. It is fragrance-free. Fragrance-free, dermatologist tested. It has hyaluronic acid, ceramides, ultimate hydration, bioferment, nutrient complex, heals, detoxifies, and strengthens. This is their full size. So, so far I'm liking these and I think it's definitely products that I could use. And now it looks like I have the Perfect Strokes Mascara from Rare Beauty. This is full size. And you know what's funny is during the Sephora sale, I purchased the mini that I have sitting here to review. So now I have the mini and I just received the full size. Thank goodness I didn't buy the full size. And so that is awesome. And this is what it looks like. I'm not going to open up the full one. I'll open up this one for you because I have used it. It has a really full plush brush. I liked it. The only thing that bothered me was look at how short this stem is. So I had a little bit of a hard time getting it in there. And the full size mascara retails for $20. So we're well over the $100 for this box. But I'm really excited about this. What a weird coincidence. Next, it looks like I have a lip product. This is True and Luscious Super Moisture Lipstick. And that's the packaging right there. And I think that is in this little booklet. Hydrating wash of opaque color keeps you moisturized. It is $22 for this lipstick. It has hydrating ingredients, including hyaluronic acid, lightweight, vegan, cruelty-free, nice dewy finish that looks great in pictures and on Zoom as well as in person. Okay, this is the color. That's really pretty. It looks kind of like a terracotta color. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for you. It feels really, really smooth, almost like a lip balm. That's what it feels like, a lip balm with color. This is a really pretty color. I like this a lot. This reminds me of a lipstick that I wore way back in high school. It's called Vintage Rose. 
This is vegan and cruelty free. This is really, really nice. This is a color that you can wear every day. Really moisturizing. I'll keep wearing it and then I'll let you know how it feels after and see if it's moisturizing. Usually when I put a lip product on, especially a lipstick, I know right away if it's gonna dry out my lips because I have naturally dry lips anyways. Next is First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. This does have the little printout about that one as well. This is the lipstick. This says, with calming aloe fragrance free cleanser, that's awesome. So I'm really happy this is fragrance free. It washes away oil, grime, and every last speck of your foundation. So I guess this is supposed to remove makeup. So this one here is not a full size. This is only a two ounce size. It says that it retails for $34 for the eight ounce size. Fragrance free gentle cleanser with a creamy texture, removes makeup, dirt, and impurities, leaving skin soft and supple without feeling tight or dry. I am always looking for a really nice cleanser. One of my favorite cleansers, I do a double cleanse, is the Neutrogena Cleansing Cream. They do have a gel, but I really, really love the cream. So I just love cream cleansers, so I'm really looking forward to using that one. And I actually need one right now because I'm out, so I'm so excited. And there's one more item in my box. This is Like Butter. It is a topicals hydrating mask. It says that it soothes, hydrates, and restores. This is a 1.7 ounce. This is how it comes. This tube is actually metal. This is for dry sensitive skin. This has green tea, rhubarb, ginseng. I think these are just kind of the call out ingredients. And madacascoside. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but I will show you if it will focus on it. I don't think it's going to. No synthetic dyes or fragrances. So that's nice. This is fragrance free and for sensitive skin. So that's everything that's in my beauty box. So now let's see if my box was worth it for my full size items at least. So I have the resurfacing compound that was the full size, the Christoph Robin hair product, the Beauty Stat Moisturizer, the lipstick, the Rare Beauty Mascara, and the mask are all full sizes. I added them up and they come to $313. So that was not bad at all for a $23 monthly box subscription. I really think that most of these I'm going to use. The hair product, 100%. I'm loving this Beauty Stat Moisturizer. That's a definite. I like the lipstick. I think it's really pretty and it's not drying at all. The mascara, of course, I love. I already have the mini of it and Super, super excited about a nice cream cleanser. Even the shampoo and conditioners, I'll give them a try. So really the only products that I'm not 100% sure on yet, I have to do a little research, is the mask, the toner, and the resurfacing compound. I just don't know exactly what is in the ingredients. I usually go online and look it up. Other than that, I'm really pleased. And my first box, because I was new, was only $15. I'm hoping in my future boxes that I get products just as good as these. I'm really excited. I'm so glad I got to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it fun and helpful. Thank you all for taking the time to watch. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend, and I will see you in my next video.